So it's Friday now and this is a continuation of the unboxing and what we've got here is the 4100 and I'm glad it came so early. It's actually 12.30 right now and um, it's a great way to end a week of school with these models because uh, I'm pretty cool at school at this point. just want to get it over with but anyway. The other models came yesterday at like 4.30 and it's 12.30 now, so I'm glad that these game pretty early. That's just me taking pictures of it. my boxes and yeah I owned a 4100 tower before so I already know how this is to unbox and everything but I figured I'd make it for you guys so you take out the first card and have your instructions for it and I believe oh yes and the uh, Both good for the real machine. I'm gonna keep those there. Right here, you have the little 10 foot section, or it should be, if I remember correctly. Yeah, here's a little 10 foot section, and it has the latch so you can bring the working boot down. And I, I ordered extensions for this as well, because although it does have a decent amount of uh, height to it, once you get the extension, it just really adds to the model. And here it is. Really glad to have it again. Now this 4100 tower crane is the only 4100 that the counterweight actually work on. Meaning there's actual weight to the counterweight, they're not just normal die cast, which I like a lot. So the parts, the boom, you can see is normal 4100 boom, and there's another section right there. But the working boom, which is basically the luffing jib, is smaller, and that's for weight. The crane, honestly, it can't lift that much at all. They give you screws and the hook right here. And the key. No. This piece is here right here is what you call the cap section, and that transitions the boom into the working boom, which is right here. And it basically works as a luffing mast on a real, real crane essentially. And I used to see a lot of these 4100 towers in Manhattan, and unfortunately they're 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 dying out. And I, I really wish they wouldn't, but. As time goes on, they're, they're just dying out. You really can't find too many of them anymore. And one of my favorite things about the Ford Hunter Tower Cream is there's no undercarriage weight to it. So the undercarriage looks nice and wide and everything. It's like nothing is, is jumped. That's the biggest pain right there. Well, not a pain, but it's a thing that you have to take most caution with. I just love this model a lot. Um, not only from seeing the real machine, but overall, it's, it's just a, an awesome model. So, I'm going to move the box out of the way and get to the biggest box I've ever got. Ever. Which contains many more models and the box itself is even hard to carry because of its size um, I hope you can view the camera here hold on 
Hold on real quick. The box is the Poden uh, wholesale box. So it's pretty big. Do we fit? I'll probably have to raise it up. All right, luckily we fit. Uh, I was worried about it not fitting in the camera. But, get it open. And it contains a lot of models. So. And the, these two boxes that you see, the 4100 and this, actually got delayed a day. They would have been here yesterday. But as long as they came, I, I really don't care. I'm just going to take whatever I see first out. First we got the potent MDT-178 climbing cage. Really glad I got this. It actually came for free when you order the tower crane. Which is really cool. And I'm glad that they did that. Because I would have never ordered the climbing cage for 80 bucks. Let's see the orange. To give you the little assembly booklet, which I'm glad they do because I, I don't know how the hell to put this on. I'm just gonna put this back in there. I don't know what's under there. Oh. Alright, here's the catwalks when the, when the iron workers would get up on the crane and put it in you can see very high detail that's true I'm gonna actually put it back in there because I have so many boxes here I don't want to lose anything or break anything because I don't I really don't have any room so now to get to the action one thing I like about this box, and I forget what other box it was but in the beginning of the video, there's only two pieces of tape. It wasn't taped around the whole thing. Here's the ladder on the inside of the section, which is very nice. More catwalks, and here's the actual section itself, which is extremely nice very very nice well made you could tell it, it's a quality product just from holding it in your hand and I'm gonna put this to the side uh, I, I still like I said I don't even have any places for these so I'm, I'm just pushing them over there Next model is the Oshkosh mixer, and this is a different color one. So this is the blue and white one. I'm not even gonna show it. But I mean, that's just the booklet on the machine. So here's the blue and white mixer. It's a nicer blue than I thought. A lot nicer blue. And this one is my brother's. And uh, he actually told me once you take it out, just put it back in the box. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. But you could see that is extremely nice. I should have ordered one or two more of these, honestly, while they had the sale because that is just really nice. So. Put it back in the box and then get to what's next. And 
one thing I can't wait to unbox here is the Potent Tower Crane. Because it's one thing that I, I really want. Uh, red boxes here right there is a 16,000. So here's the bill. Uh, doesn't actually give you a price, but once I find the, the invoice with the price on it, I'll tell you the price on it. I, I believe all these models were right here, including the Ford 100, went for 983, which is very cheap. And this box right here is the 4100 Tower Crane Extension Kit. And to be honest, I was really worried about this. Uh, becoming uh, coming broken because of the box it comes in. There's no styrofoam or anything, and it, it's just this brown box. Oh my fault! So there's it when it comes in. You can see I like that old nice green decal. You don't need to cut it or anything. Again, I own this piece as well. And there's the extension kit with the screws and all the boom and working jib. They give you more extensions on the boom and the working jib, which is pretty cool. So that's gonna go back in the box. This is gonna keep me busy for quite some time assembling all these models. So. Next, and uh, 